procrastinate with no mistakes because I have nothing to correct. If people get up and try to do the math class thing where they play perfectly, the only thing I can say is, what do you need me for? Go find someone who knows your instrument. Okay. But more than that master class stuff, you need to know how to get good. Uh, what are we? I just always like to know what we're playing. Mozart. Did you make Okay. Is it this? Yeah, it's like mostly this section right here, oh. but it's kind of old. Okay, mostly from, from here to the. From like right here. Right here, from the B yeah, to so the what, like E? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll probably take that section out. That's probably what we'll do. This is going to be a good one. Um, go from here. Don't worry about mistakes. That's what we want to see. Okay, that wasn't too bad. What would you like to be better? Um, well, this like feels really uncomfortable with all string popping, and it's just like a little like I mean. And, and, I, and I forgot to ask um, our friend who just left, how did it feel when you ended? I'll tell you what she would have said, easier. It's like, it was 60 pounds heavy and I could only lift 55, but when I got done, I could lift 65. And it was only 60 pounds, I forgot to ask that. My bad, I need to do more deliberate practice. <laughs> um, so, you, it, let's do that whole section, let's do that whole thing. So the first deal is, you wanna make sure you get it right, doesn't matter how slow. Play it a little slower, play it exactly as you'd like to hear it sound. Make sure we got the neural network built properly whenever you're ready. So let's let's pick things that address that first. Would you please play this without your left hand? Okay. And what I do, I usually make a joke about holding someone's hand through a new process, and I'll grab their hand because I don't want this. But one easy way to do it: grab the body of your violin. Do not move your left hand fingers. If you screw up, that's great because that's the sweet spot of learning, right? We all avoid it. The, the few that don't get it. Go ahead. sign of choking. The international sign of learning, and I'm serious, for all human beings is this. <laughs> I'm serious. That's the international sign of learning. 
and it's my job to get you there. So do it one more time, make sure we got it right. And generally, I would recommend like at least five reps and a banana. <laughs> spot of learning, it's much easier to get them there. Okay, Let them know what's going on. I have a saying when it comes to teaching, you've got to give them the why. G-O-T-T-A. You've got to give them the why. Okay, This is why we're doing it. Let's do a reverse stop, be historically accurate, the Scotch snap. And I know you listen to lots of Lulee overtures, so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, da 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 <laughs> uh, but that, but those are the little things you have to notice. Oh, she did it. I don't know. I guess I'm not doing it right. You'll get better. And by the way, as you start to do this, you're not going to be graded at first. Because everyone looks at us, you're the teacher. You should have all the answers. You are going to have to do deliberate practice, too, to get better at this. It's okay that it feels that way. You are in the sweet spot of learning. Okay? One, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop. Um, I'm a good teacher, but a bad businessman. It's all free. Uh, 
And it's a document that is a synopsis of how to do this stuff and then lists descriptions of how to do all these things. It's got a very technical name, so I'll say it slowly. It's called Practical Ways to Play Better Now. Right now. Come on. Go do it. You'll find it in the My Writing section of the, of the website. Okay? Now we're going to do first note, pause, and then groups of three. So we won't do the first note, pause again. Yeah, can you look at our face? I'm starting to get there. Right? We try to avoid this. And the few who will go home and do it on their own are gifted. We need to teach this to people so everyone can be gifted. Because everyone can be gifted. This notion of talent, talent may exist, but it doesn't really matter. Okay? So it's going to go one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. When you get going, you turn your mind off and you can cover up the fact that you haven't learned the thing very well. This is why assessment in the moment doesn't work as well as contextual assessment in performance. But we, in our school system, we assess in the moment. And we think that that is an F. And then what you did before is an A. That's an A when it comes to learning. That's what we want. And what this does is it boils things up that are little problems and allows us to address them. Something you want to avoid as much as we can. Well, guess where it's going to boil up if you don't do this? Performance night. This is why I had it. By the way, my last blog post tells you exactly what my blog is called Talent Optional. My last blog post addresses the, but I had it at home. I, I tell you exactly what's going on and exactly how to fix it. I think you've got one's called The Magic of Etudes. You can convince people to work on etudes if you look at the way. I would, I, the first blog post is guitar specific, so you might want to avoid it, but all the ones after that are, are different. My, my next one is going to be. Um, why, when I get all the notes right and all the interpretation, do I not sound like my favorite professional performer? There's a specific reason, and you will get there. Don't get disappointed. That's my next one. You should subscribe to my blog. Okay. <laughs> Again, sweet spot of learning. And notice where it occurs. I'm doing the whole thing. She showed me right where the difficulty was. We're just doing the whole thing because I wanted to get it all together and we had a few minutes to do it. Go ahead. section for this, but we got time to do this. Watch this. We're going to love this for this. Here we go.
bad learning. Third, and then now my second, but whatever you want to do, you can just keep mixing it up. By the way, has anyone heard of the website, The Rhythm Randomizer? You, well, of course, you, <laughs> you, you can just plug in anything you want, and it'll spit out a couple of measures of ridiculously hard rhythms. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, it's, it's pretty fun. And we'll have a little recovery period now as we talk. Most of this stuff is on my website and in that Play Better Now document, and if it's not in there, I've even got it in music notation in um, my handouts, the one from Jacob we had before, or email me, I'll be, I'll be glad to send it to you. It's in treble clef, I use the Via Lobos shape tubes, because it's something, one of the rare things guitarists and bow strings have in common. Believe it or not, Via Lobos, the cellist, wrote the most important etudes for the guitar of the 20th century. Um, and so I use those as the example, when I, so there's music notation that shows you how to do stuff. So we had a little recovery period. Would you please do a three note sequence again? Go to C 
slow as you want. Go as slowly as you want. It's the mental exercise, not the speed. And you can use separate bows. You don't, have, you know, don't even think about trying that. <laughs> Sometimes stop bows work better too because it gives you a little bit of thought. I stole that from a teacher yesterday in a practice class. He told me about it. If anyone recorded the whole thing from beginning to end, I would love I could have a USB or we can figure it out. Let, 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 let it sink in. Let it sink in. Oh, yeah, it's great because the first part, oh, yeah, right. You want to do you have an airdrop? Oh, excellent. Perfect. Okay, we'll talk in a minute. We're going to do questions and things here in a minute. We'll take all the time you need. You can take a break if you want. We're done here in about two minutes. Okay. Please perform this, so turn your mind off, don't worry about where the mistakes are, just let them happen. Perform this at a safe tempo, where you think you can get all the notes right, okay? shifting thing before. It's a lot more comfortable. Who doesn't want that? Okay, now you can lift 75 pounds and it weighs 60. Before you could lift 59. You were just about there. You had it almost all the way up. Okay, all right. too soon. Um, putting forth what she just learned along with trying to stay with the metronome which is a little bit tough. I recommend doing that as a separate skill. We can get them both done here. I think like, there's like 10 
a rush, I would think that like being in a fashion trend would be more comfortable. That's like what I'm inclined to do. But at the same time, I feel like that's kind of like the reality of my coffin. There it is. The first part was not true. The second part was. Folks, we all know this in the back of our minds. Every student knows this. When you were practicing it efficiently when you were younger, you knew it, because I knew it when I did it for years. I knew in the back of my mind, but I kept saying, no, I just want to move forward. Stay in the comfort zone. And I wasted a lot of time. I wasted a lot of time. I could have been really good at a much younger age. <laughs> One more. How does that make you feel that you know you can do that? There's no setup today. There was no setup. <laughs> I swear. This happens every single time. I love doing practice classes. One more, just for fun. You've already gone way beyond where you were before. In what would take 10 minutes, working on something for months and months or weeks and weeks, and I can't get it, and I'm scared, and I have these white knuckle moments that I come up to in music. Just do this. Why not do it? Doesn't make sense. Just quick observation. The first Please. The time she played it into this one now, harmonically, I'm hearing the upper notes coming out that you want to hear harmonically because you're really with the metronome. It works for everything. Is it any wonder when people do this that giftedness aura comes around them? Everything <laughs> gets better. One more, one more. Yeah. Now do this always with everything, all the time, no matter what. Questions are coming in a second. Questions are coming in a second. Is it okay if we take a short break so you can use the rest of your stuff? Give me two seconds because I... Yes. What about it? Maybe, you can try it. Yeah, <coughs> No, I, I have something else about metronome that's really interesting if you remind me when we go to the question session. Okay, but, but here's the deal. Here's the deal. When you teach your students this, they have a choice. Do you want to go through months and months of having painful lessons and painful concerts to have easier practices? Or do you want to spend 10 minutes, and this won't be done. The next time you practice, it's going to go down a little bit. You're going to have to do this for, oh my gosh, 10 minutes a day for about three days. Then that goes into an interleaving. You need to ask me about interleaving in the next section practice. And bam, this is where talent exists, in that small space where you think you can't do it, but you actually can. Why don't we take a short five minute break, or come back whenever you feel like it, and I'll take all the questions you want.